that was it didn't seem sense that's that Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing a Q&A because I have no subscribers and getting to know who I am. First of all, this is Kyra Banks. I am Kyra Banks. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back to the old subscribers. Welcome back, you guys. Um, yeah, so this is your chance to watch this video. Get to know me because you are new to this channel and... I have to update, not really update, but like just to get to know me really. I did another one, I believe, a first one, I believe. But why not keep doing that every time I get a couple of few new subscribers? You know what I'm trying to say? But this is ghetto, but I'm drinking some tequila. And I mixed the strawberry lemonade and the ocean breeze on it. The Calypso juice. The one. Yeah, I mix those two together. It tastes good. Tequila's in here. But I had to take some from the house because she has a whole boss. I had to take some from the house. And um, anyway, besides the point, let's get to these questions. Okay, I'm, I have questions here. So if I'm looking down, that's why. Okay, don't come for me. What is three words that best describes me? I'm funny. I am friendly and I'm very passionate. If I want something, I will get it. Okay? I'm passionate. Like, I'm really like, I just have this drive. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm very self motivated. So I'm just, I have this drive. So I'm very passionate. Um, and I'm funny. If, if I'm comfortable being around you, I love to make you laugh. Like, I love to make people laugh, period. Like, but, um, and I'm friendly. Like, I still, I'm still shy. I'm too old to be shy, I know. If I see like a group of, you know, girls, whatever, I would want to approach you guys and be like, hey, what's up? But, cause I'm friendly, but I'm just, I'm also shy, so. But I'm friendly. Cause I would want to approach you guys, but I'm just shy. But anyway, favorite song lyric. <laughs> My favorite song lyric. So, it's a song by Nicki Minaj called, um, It was in potion. So the lyric is, is is long, but whatever. People will love you and support you when it's beneficial. I'ma forget, but I won't forget that I'ma death the issues. Maybe you all the niggas eyes when they start to miss you. They see you doing good, and that was kinda hard to diss you. Niggas be sick when they remember all the bad they wished you. Something, something, come and live loud is with you. But I sped up in the frenzy. Causing the frenzy. But that whole that whole verse right there, I can't finish it because I gotta hear the beat. I gotta get into it. But she clapped the crib on the hills on them. Yeah, all of that. That that is a motivation. Like that verse, mo forget the lyric. That verse motivate. It motivates me. The right part of her verse when she get in it. If you know, you know. But um, I was about to search it up, but then it just popped in my head. Like, girl, you and Nikki can get it together. But, yes. My dream job, number three, my dream job is... So, I'm in school right now for psychology. I want to be a psychologist or a clinical psychologist or a school counselor. Something along the lines of that. Yeah. That is my dream job. Um, if that don't go well, YouTube is also my dream job. Like, um, it's not about the money, it's not about none of that. I just like to put myself out there. I've always wanted to be a model, I've always wanted to be an actress. I've always wanted to be, it was something else, or a dancer. But I just like to put myself out there just in case I do get into acting. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always wanted to act, I always wanted to be a model, and I could get into that. Right on this, right? I missed my commercial. Who knows? You get what I'm trying to say? So, 
listen, you know, it's never too late. It's never, listen, because I had this dream since years ago. And I always told myself, like, it's it's too late for that. I'm getting older. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. But I'm like, it's never too late. Because I don't know where YouTube could take me. It could take me to the places where I thought it was too late to go to. Most afraid of. I'm afraid of heights. I don't know how I do airplanes, but I like to fly places. But I'm afraid of heights. Even my boyfriend, like, he'll, like, try to pick me up and sling me down the bed. Oh, my God. Like, my nerves go crazy because I can't do that. I'm scared. How do I handle frustration? Y'all, I'm trying to get out of that. The new, I said that in my other video for my 2022 resolution. I want to be chill. Like, I don't want to be mad anymore. I don't want to be toxic anymore. I don't want to be, you know, I don't, like, I don't want to be frustrated. I don't want to get mad. I don't, I don't want to get mad over little things. Like, I just want to. Just chill, relax, relax. But last year, cause, no, I'm not, because I was aggravated today. I was frustrated today. But how do I handle it? I try to exit from the situation. Like, no, I got frustrated. <laughs> I got frustrated the other day too, because I went to fried chicken. I went out to get macaroni and cheese to so go with my fried chicken. And I got some string beans to go with it. And I get home, I'm putting out the pans, the pots and stuff, trying to get ready. I look in the cabinet, there's no oil. I gave up a life. I said, I'm not cooking. That's it. Like, I was starved. Like, we ended up making curry chicken. But, yeah. I just have to walk away. Just walk away. Let me calm down. And I'll be fine. Like, today, I had to come home. Because. Just walk away. Just don't. I don't want to. If something is frustrating me, I don't want to be in the same atmosphere as the thing that frustrated me. I just want to just step away for a second and then, you know, just get, let me breathe from it. Let me breathe. That's how I handle it. I just step away. Um, how do I deal with, with disappointment? So I've realized over the past few months, couple of months, several months. <laughs> that I don't deal with disappointment very good because I understand that in my younger age, my sisters would, if I wanted something, I would get it. Or if I needed them, they was there for me, like, quick, like, or like, not even like materialistic thing, but like if I needed something or if I wanted something, like I need you to, I want you here next to me, or I have a question, answer my question, or I'm in trouble, help me out. I need, I need some money, give me, like, they was quick, they was on it, one, two, three. It wasn't no why, what happened, well, can you, can you wait? It was none of that, it was, here you go. Um, now I'm starting to realize that I cannot deal with disappointment. If I, cause I'm the type of person, if I want something, if I want something I'm going to get it. And if I can't, if I was told I'm gonna get something and I don't get it, I'm gonna get mad. Or like, if I have, if I set a high expectation of something like for my life and it just go down the drain, like not where I planned to go, it gets me very frustrated. And I just, I get really emotional and depressed. <sighs> Whatever, but next question. It's so strong. Like, I put like this amount of alcohol. Look all this juice. And it's still strong. <sighs> but anyway, what is something you love about yourself? So, something I love about myself is that I'm very passionate. I'm very headstrong. I'm very self motivated. Which parent are you most close? Are you closer to? So, my father left my life when I was one. So, my mom. I don't know, I don't know a lot about my dad. Like, I met him one time <clears throat> when I was in fifth grade, but that was it. Didn't seem sense. Um, 
and it was weird that's a story time to tell but if you want it let me know drop it down in the comments my biggest turn off i hate people that ask me dumb questions i know i know that not every question is a dumb question or not or any question isn't a dumb question i understand that but don't ask me the obvious please come just stare at you turn on I don't have a turn on. Probably, I don't know. What's my turn on? I don't care. What is one thing I change, change about myself? My attitude. I wish I could just be calm, cool, and collective. I'm trying to work on it. It's not a one night process. It's not one, two, three. Do I have a first love? Yes, I do. Is suffering a normal, a normal part of life? <sighs> it is, to a certain extent. I say that because not everyone can deal with <clears throat> with certain suffering. Like, it's different. It's levels to the suffering. Like, it depends on what it is. Like, for example. I'm suffering now for my job. Like, y'all yeah, heard the story time. Like, I'm right now. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, do I go to work and just deal with it and just get the money? I know the answer to that already. I can't. And I'm also asking myself, well, do I just walk away? I know the answer to that too. And it's yes, I just leave it alone. And. I'm suffering right now because it's like, dang, because I really had this image of myself growing and being a manager there. Like, you know, someone bigger than who I am right now. And I'm suffering. I am suffering. Like, I really wish certain things didn't happen because I love work. I I used to love working and, like, just going and being passionate and just have my coffee ready to go, hustle, 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 but it's not the same. Like after the situation, it really changed my outlook on these people. Like, yeah, it's just different thing that you just, it, it shapes you for you to be, a, for you to be a better person. Where would you want to move to? I said this in my last vlog, in my video. I said I want, I want to move to like either New Jersey, Atlanta, or Houston. Either or. If I want to move, but like kind of stay close, I will do New Jersey. If I want to go, baby, I'm going. So either Atlanta or Houston. My greatest accomplishment. My greatest accomplishment was getting my associate's degree. Y'all. Yeah. I had an image that I didn't want to continue with college. I didn't want to be in college anymore. I didn't want to deal with college after going to York College. That was the worst college ever. Like, they put me through so much. But I... After I took like a semester or two off, I think it's one, one semester off. Or was it two? I think it was two. After I did that, I was like, let me give it like a second try. Maybe it's not just me. Maybe it's not me. Maybe it was just them. Let me just see. So I was like, let me just start off small. So I did a two year college and I went to Kingsborough. It was going smooth. Like I, every professor I had was like motivating me, yeah, motivating me to come to school, well, go on a computer every day and do my schoolwork. Like I was passing quizzes, I was passing tests, I was passing finals and stuff. Like all my classes was good. Like I was, it was like a breath of fresh air. But my biggest accomplishment was that I got my associate's degree. I, I got a degree after, after wanting to give up. I kept going. Now I have, my, but I have one degree. I'm going back to school right now to get my bachelor's degree, and I have positive and you know good thoughts on that. 
Would I rather an unlimited supply of money or food? I say money. Because I could buy the food. Free it. Don't you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have food and be homeless. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ah. You guys got to know a little bit about me. I will also do another video, The Truth of Drink. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and ask some questions on Instagram. I'm going to post it in my, um, right here. Make sure y'all follow me, at, you know, get into it. And also, thank you so much for almost 350 thank you for that we're gonna roll to 400 we getting there so we should be building our crew and i also want to do a giveaway i said this a while back i want to do a giveaway at 500 oh my gosh i'm trying to get this so i can give away some stuff but thank you so much for tuning 